staying warm is absolutely the most important thing right up to the event. And as, as you mentioned, this is really kind of a family type of festival atmosphere on the day of. And one of the most important things is just to know your limitations. If you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. But as you can see, there's a lot of people who are comfortable with doing it. So come join us January 1st. Is everybody going in? Are you going in? Are you going in? Are you going in? Michael Vester. Oh, we're doing it. You're doing it. We're all doing it. Water sheets are really important, especially the ones that are made of neoprene, because they actually warm up your feet when you're in there. If you use regular shoes, your feet will feel like they're breaking off. It's more, it's so important to keep your feet warm. What did you wear on your feet? Uh, well, Eddie needs better shoes than this. Eddie wore, Eddie wore his shoes from Africa, because Eddie is from Africa. I cannot believe somebody from Africa did a polar bear dip. Wear as little as possible. Bring warm goods. Save your pee. And uh, save your pee for you. And um, get a warm house coat to put on when you get out. And bring your own hot dog. Hi, uh, you got Todd and Trent Courage here, the founders of the Courage Polar Bear Dip that happens every year at Cornisha Park in Oakville. This year we'll be starting festivities at 12.30. Uh, we have a band here, we have uh, costume contests, a real family type atmosphere. You can get all the information at polarbeardip.ca. Yeah, good onto that website. Again, polarbeardip.ca. You can find out everything about the event, history, anything to do with where the water, uh, the money is going for Water for Water. And sponsor page, you can form your own donation page, you can join a team, you can form a team. If you're not going to go in the water, that's fine too. Come out and be a spectator. It's a real great festival atmosphere. See you January 1st. Water is life. <laughs>